they inhabit all the oceans in the world. From the surface to the great depths, they sway with infinite grace. Whales, sperm whales, dolphins, orcas. For many years, these sea mammals were hunted. Today, people try to approach and understand them. Endowed of outstanding strength and extraordinary intelligence, these fascinating creatures possess many other resources, an ability to communicate with one another, or even to cooperate, to educate, to pass on. Titanic, majestic. Here are the titans of the deep. chance to meet these titans, we will follow François Serrano, oceanographer, former companion of Commander Cousteau, tireless explorer and defender of the sea world. François will dive with the largest animals on the planet to attempt to shed some light on their mysteries. How did these former land animals manage to adapt to the sea world? When the land animal ancestors of the cetaceans returned to the seas 55 million years ago, they didn't stand a chance. They arrived in a hostile environment. They had to breathe there. They had to hide in a place where there was nowhere to hide. In the deep seas, there's nowhere to hide. They had to give birth in an environment where the baby had to breathe immediately. And despite all of these obstacles, they managed to survive. Basically, these animals, that, that didn't stand a chance at the beginning, conquered the planet. Mauritius, a tiny, isolated island in the heart of the Indian Ocean, several thousand kilometers away from greater lands. The planet's largest carnivore hunts off its coasts, the sperm whale. Males can measure up to 20 meters long and weigh over 50 tons. Francois Serrano is about to dive with these titans to get a closer look at them. To join them, we must get beyond the coral reef that protects the island and head for the open seas above the great depths. High seas, the abyss, this is the kingdom of the sperm whales. but the smooth ocean surface is a mirror that masks their presence. We have to be patient, suffer in silence. It is a breath. There, right under the cloud. Luckily, sooner or later, the sperm whales appear because these are mammals like us and they must breathe at the surface. It is here on the border between two worlds, those of water and air, that we will manage to meet them. Like an astronaut in a new environment, Francois goes towards these otherworldly creatures. First contact. the sperm whales, now is not the time to meet. They carry on their way, calmly.
It's a hostile environment. It's difficult for us to move about. We move extremely slowly, whereas they are at ease. We hardly move. So with one of their fin flaps, they're, you know, they're 10 meters away from us. Swimming with sperm whales is not only a privilege that must be earned, it's also the only way to understand them. For hundreds of years, the sperm whales were hunted by whalers and fled from boats and men. They only showed scarce moments of their life, a breath, a tail that rises, another that hits the water, but nothing to reveal their mysterious ocean life. For years, scientists had to make do with observing the cetaceans from their boats, interpreting the scarce signs to imagine what the sea animals did under the surface. To hope to understand them, we must swim with them. And we must wait for the right moment. The one when the sperm whales accept our presence. A young whale comes calmly under our boat. This would have been unimaginable just a few years ago because cetaceans were afraid of boats, their steel hulls and fire harpoons. Francois grasps this unexpected opportunity which the whale seems to give him. He dives with a portable directional hydrophone designed to record the separate sounds made by each individual. Surprise! The whale is as curious about Francois as Francois is about him. Each explores the other with his own means. The whale doesn't have a hydrophone, but possesses an extraordinary sense. Echolocation. It gives out extremely powerful sound pulsations, then analyzes the echo given out by the targeted object, Francois in this case, to make a sound image as precise as a sonogram. Echolocation is a terrifically efficient sense. When the whale scans the boat, it perceives not only the shape of the hull, but also its size and width. It's also this echolocation that made sperm whales exceptional hunters, allowing them to see and find their prey in the great depths, where it's always nighttime. To hunt, they dive for more than one hour at 2,000 meters deep. An incredible feat, a performance. No man has ever seen, and probably never will see, what happens in the abyss, when no light pierces absolute darkness.
the young sperm whales have remained at the surface. They don't yet know how to dive down into the great depths, but they keep in contact with their elders, thanks to the sounds that travel over several kilometers. To be fed, they must wait for the large females to return, or else make the most of a regurgitated prey. The young whales are easy to recognize with all the suckerfish stuck to their bodies. Sometimes there are dozens of them. The suckerfish feed off their waste and parasites. Surprisingly, the adults who join them don't have any. Perhaps the suckerfish cannot stand the fast changes of pressure between the surface and the abyss imposed by the large whales. Francois makes the most of the adults being present to collect precious clues. In their excrement, the feces that they drop behind them. Here, look, treasure. What have you found? <laughs> look at this, hang on. Look, a sperm whale let loose. <laughs> we were inside it. And here, look at all the squid beaks. Ah, all the squid beaks I picked up. I collected them one by one. Beautiful. That's ah, amazing. So this is horn. It's indestructible, rot proof. And that's why it remains in the whale's feces. So this shows all the squid that he goes to fish for in the, in the great depths. He goes to fetch them at a thousand, one thousand five hundred meters deep in the daytime, uh, although it's easier for him at night time. At night, the squid rise up to less deep areas. Uh, around 600 meters. To find out about all of the rich diversity offered by those who live under the ocean surface, we must go into their world, immerse ourselves as often as possible. Watch out, get ready. If you want to see a whale sleep, you must be underwater to see it. Who'd imagine that sperm whales sleep upright if you haven't been underwater? When you see two sperm whales at the surface, who could imagine that there are 20 sleeping in the whale dormitory? The titans of the seas sleep with one eye open. Breathing is an intentional act, unlike for us, where it's a reflex. We don't have to think about it. They had to face the dilemma of staying awake to breathe or die asleep. They found the solution. Half of their brain dozes while the other is awake. They only half sleep. Around the dozing adults, the young gather and play. An oddly familiar image, applicable to all mammals, just as the young monkeys do in tropical forests or lion cubs in the savanna. When you enter their world, you discover a wonderful flexibility. These are elves under the water. And suddenly the, these mastodons gather, these, these behemoths. They gather, they huddle, one against the other. And suddenly, they hug. 
Literally, they roll against each other on top of one another in an incredible hug. Long hugs and times of socialization are over. Without knowing why, without knowing who gave the signal, the whales leave shreds of skin behind them, which detached as they rub their titanic bodies together. remains is a delicate veil of skin, a frail souvenir of these moments of grace shared with us. It's amazing to be at one with wildlife, so often criticized. When you experience that, you want everyone to live that. And once you've experienced this in your life, you're one with the world. All you want is for us to make space for our housemates. We make room for this wildlife that goes straight to the point. You know, it, it's wonderful. Difficult to imagine that the ancestors of these whales were land animals, but they were. These creatures are the fruit of an exceptional evolution. 